welcome everyone. In this video, I will work on one friction problem. The problem states that the box weights 1000 newtons. Find the value of the coefficient of friction required to prevent the box from sliding. First, let's draw a free body diagram of the box. So here is my box. Now what is acting on this box? Well, we have the vertical force or the weight of the box which is given in the statement and it is 1000 newtons. Next, we are pretty much sure that the box won't going to move into the surface, which means the surface must be pushing back on the box. That means we have a normal force here. And we can see that the normal force here goes through the same point on our free body diagram. Now next is the friction force. We have to make sure we have the right direction of the friction force because it matters. If you have it wrong, you will have wrong answer at the end. I will write the direction later. We have our 30 degree incline here. And look what I will do now. Every time when I have two unknowns and they are on a right angle, like the friction and the normal force here, I will make it this way. This one here will be my new x-coordinate and this one here will be my new y-coordinate. So when I have the sum of the forces in the x-direction, the vertical forces won't be in it. And when I sum the forces in the y-direction, the horizontal forces won't be in it. In that way, I will eliminate some of the unknowns. So if this angle here is 30 degrees, this one here is 60 degrees, which means this one here is 30 degrees too. Now I will break this force into two components. The horizontal component here equals to 1000 sine 30 and vertical component here and the vertical component is 1000 cosine 30. Oops. What else do we have? The box wants to move downhill. So if the box wants to move downhill, the friction is opposing that. So friction will go up the hill. So here is our, the direction of our friction force. The friction force equals to the friction coefficient times the normal force. And now, from the problem, we are looking for the value of the coefficient of friction. So, here we go. The sum of the forces in the x-direction equals to 0 and that equals 2. So, in x-direction, we have positive friction force. So, mu times n and we have negative 1000 sine 30. From here we can see that we have two unknowns, we have mu and we have n, so I have to keep going. So sum of the forces in the y direction equals to 0 and that equals 2. In the y direction we have normal force, which is positive, and we have 1000 cosine 30, which is negative. Now I can easily find the the value of the normal force. I will leave the normal force from one side and I will transfer this one to the other side. So n equals to 1000 cosine 30. So the normal force is equal to 866 newtons. Mm -hmm. Now I can use this value and I will plug it in this first equation here. So mu times 866 minus 1000 sine 30 equals to 0. So now I will leave mu to this side and I will transfer everything to the other side. So I have 1000 
sine 30 over 866. So mu, if I plug everything in the calculator, I get a value of 0 0.577 for the friction coefficient. And the box doesn't slide until the tangent of the angle exceeds the friction coefficient. That's about it for this problem and thanks for watching.